Chapter 2, What God is Like When we look at the wonderful world God made, we can see that God is very powerful and knows how to do everything. Only such a God could make the amazing world we live in. The Bible says that God is everywhere at the same time. God knows and understands all things. God even knows the thoughts we think. Psalm 147, verse 5. Greater is our Lord, his understanding has no limit. Jeremiah 51, verse 15. He made the earth by his power, he founded the world by his wisdom, and stretched out the heavens by his understanding. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 23 through 24. Am I only a God nearby, declares the Lord, and not a God far away? Can I even hide in secret places so that I cannot see him, declares the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, declares the Lord? Because God made everything, he owns everything. When you draw a picture, it belongs to you, whether you make something out of wood, paper, or cloth. You own it because you made it. It's the same way with God, because God made everything. It all belongs to him. This is why God is also called Lord. It means that he is the king or owner of all that he has made. God created it, so he owns it. Psalm chapter 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Psalm 100, verse 3. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his, we are his people. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. The Bible tells us that God is good and very kind. Just look at all the beautiful things that the Lord created. God could have made all flowers to be black and white, but instead he made them in pretty colors. God could have made all food taste horrible, but instead he made it good to eat and it smells wonderful. He makes all sorts of fruits and flowers, bugs and butterflies, colors and sounds, just so that we can enjoy them. God did this because he cares for us. God loves us. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 24. I am the Lord who has made all things, who alone stretch out the heavens. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. He richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. The Bible also tells us that the Lord likes things done in the right way. Wouldn't it be confusing if one day the sun set in the middle of the morning and didn't rise again for three days? Think how long you'd have to stay in bed. That's why God made rules. He made a rule for the sun. It was to rise in the morning and go down in the evening. It was to do that every day without changing. God made rules or laws so that everything would fit together and the world would work in the right way. Psalm chapter 104 verse 19. The moon marks out the seasons and the sun knows when to go down. Psalm chapter 74, verse 16 through 17. The day is yours, and yours also the night. You established the sun and moon. It was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. God made rules for people too, so that we could live happy lives. Sometimes we don't like rules, but just stop and think for a moment what the world would be like without them. If there were no traffic lights, no stop signs, and no speed limits, you wouldn't know when it was safe to cross the street. Everyone would be confused and upset. Without rules or laws, life would be difficult and dangerous. God made rules because he knows what is best for us. He knows that when things are done in the right way, we are happy. God cares for us. Colossians chapter 1, verse 17. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Everything God made was perfect. When we say something is perfect, we mean that there is nothing wrong with it. It is good in every way. God created a perfect world because that's the way he is. He is perfect. God never does anything wrong. Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. God saw it all that he made, and it was very good. Psalm chapter 145, verse 3. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. God's home is perfect. It's called heaven. The Bible tells us that heaven is very beautiful. It's like a huge park with trees and a river. Right in the middle of the park is a wonderful, clean, safe city, where nothing is broken or ever wears out. This city is so amazing, even the streets are paved with gold. In heaven, there is no sickness, sadness, or death. There are no weeds, thorns, or thistles. No bad or unkind people live there. Everyone is always very, very happy. Heaven is full of beautiful music. Animals are tame and friendly. You never have to sleep in heaven. There is no darkness for night. It is always day. Heaven is a perfect place where perfect people and perfect angels live with a perfect God. It is so wonderful, it's hard to describe Imagine being able to take a peek into heaven. What do you think it would be like to live there? Revelation chapter 21, verse 4. He'll wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. 
No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared. Questions on chapter 2. Number 1. When you look around the world and see all that was made, you can see that God is very powerful. How much does God know? Number 2. Who does the world belong to? Number 3. Why does the world belong to God? Number 4. God could have made the world very ugly, but he made it beautiful. Why did God make it such a beautiful world? Number five. God made rules so that the world would work in the right way. What sort of place would the world be without any rules? Number six. What do we call something that has nothing wrong with it and is good in every way? Number seven. Why was God only able to create a perfect world? Number eight. God lives in a perfect home. What is it called? Number nine. Name three things the Bible tells us about heaven.